Hello everybody, welcome to the season finals of Blood Bowl 3. We've got Moomin Slayer versus Andy Devo here. Moomin Slayer the yellow with Underworld and Andy Devo blue with Orcs. This is the losers bracket round 2, so every team in this bracket has won one, lost one, and a loss will eliminate them, and it will also take them out of the money as well. So this is this is, you know, for all the biscuits and it's pretty pretty high pressure stuff. Um Devo has got four guard, a block biggin, and a frenzy blitzer. Moomin Slayer has gone for an interesting halfway house. We've seen Artemis go all damage. We've seen Elliot go all one turn. Oh wow, look at this, he's not even fielding the gutter on defense here. And then and then Moomin Slayer's gone for a halfway house. He's got the juggernaut on the sidestep, but then he's got the uh, block and the wrestle. And the wrestle and the block to try and fight better and attack her. So interesting. I mean, you know, the interesting thing about Underworld is, of course, all avenues of victory are open to them, regardless of build. Pitch invasion is three players down for Moomin Slayer, which it's not that impactful for the defense, right? That pitch invasion is devastating when it when it affects the receiving team. Because they, they can't, you know, stabilize or whatever and things like that, protect the ball. For defense, it doesn't do a whole lot. Oh, it was sweltering heat, I didn't realize. Right, so it was sweltering heat, so it was to guarantee the gutter for the one turn. Thank you, Moon Slayer. Uh, so that makes sense, doesn't it? That makes perfect, sensible sense. So, yeah, this is the thing, right? Orcs aren't planning to do anything turn one. So these guys being stunned, okay, like it's it's exposed different people to get blitzed or whatever, but it's not like, you know, it's not devastating your defense. Whereas if that had been maybe the ball carrier and some other players for say a dwarf team versus pro elves, that would be terrible, you know. Not that you know, not that I'm uh, still think about that, of course, but you know, they're the sort of things that can happen. Uh, anybody losing any offense, getting three players down is is pretty horrendous. Ooh, not three dice troll blitzing. I guess he's gonna six dice blitz. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. Not going you the frenzy. Mine. It's just a just a stun. Hello Sol, thank you very much for the raid. I saw I saw your glorious JFW avatar there in the in the corner of the screen. Great to see. Oh, and then he failed to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Throw, there's a. It's funny, right? Benching the gutter because of the heat, and then, like, this is the absolute perfect time to just have a gutter to run through and, and win potentially, but. It's great. It's pretty great, isn't it? It's it's great not feeling the face can't do that. I might. I, I, I will get face cam back at some point, but uh, when I do, it'll be good to just have the JFW thing for when I don't want to. Yeah, with the lights, isn't it? I was looking at buying lights again, you know, for if I uh, if I do put the face cam back on, and uh, you know, it's like two hundred pound for these two lights, and it's pretty expensive. And uh, also, they're bright, aren't they? And it's like oh, the bright lights in front of your face aren't aren't always great. So it's nice just to have a a night off from the bright light. I remember, I remember when I used to have a face cam. It was nice to have. A night off from them every now and then. Your tiny rat brain for five hours of straight winning, glorious. It's funny, Chunter tried Orcs once, because I told him to, you know, play a real team. And uh, he was like, he hated Orcs and couldn't stand them. Absolutely couldn't stand them. Smash a rat dacker, amazing. Hello, Sea Bros. Glorious. Well, it's thinking in its own way, isn't it? It's thinking in its own way. You can think more or less with them. And also what you can do is play players down on purpose. I'm, I will be trying that. Uber Blood Bowl. The Savage School of Blood Bowl. So 
So we've finally got a bit of pressure. It's a snotling. <laughs> it's a snotling. And uh, three assist foul into a Kaz. No apple. Okay, maybe fouling's good sometimes. Okay, now it's uh, two goblins and a snotling. And like Dave was so far back, and like he was so f up front, and then also like this. I mean, it's shit having I mean, a thrower, obviously. He's so far back, and now he's uh. He's gonna have to pass, probably, isn't he? No, he's not. He's not passing, but he's really got to pull these guys back. Yeah, so he, he was free at least. Is this going to be a Y cage? I don't see any other way. Man, he really had to get the knockdown, didn't he? If that had not been a pow. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, I guess this is like a Y cage, isn't it? But... The old L cage. And the uh, the wrestler's too far away. Maybe, maybe uh, you know, again, this is not a criticism of Moomin Slayer because I'm not sure how any, if anybody would be this good. But, like, you know, maybe, maybe with having two wrestlers, maybe you should have tried to uh, split them off either side and, like, try and creep around the flanks with them. Like with the, uh, you know, not reaching the ball and then having like such a high line. Maybe that could have been something he could have done. Like, you know, like this turn, just like kind of try and swap the block and the wrestle. So you've got a wrestle either side so you can go for a cheeky 1D if you can. Quite nice, isn't it? Six dice at the snot line. Yeah, the Roger. The Roger does not like getting punched. It's but it is good for the one turn, isn't it? It, it? it is it is good for the one turn, that is undeniable. Whether it's worth it being better for one turn it being worse for the other fifteen. Now, there's gotta be a a chain of some kind here, right? I don't know what it is. Cause there's like a million ways of doing it. So, he's going for this way. Like, there's just literally a million ways here. So, so we can go back. I mean, you can look at it if you want. If you want. If you want. So what happens is, there's, there's just literally so many things you can do, right? Because you've got a juggernaut. So, you want to push him two squares. You could, like, put a snotling there and stuff and, like, punch there. <gasps> Sorry, I'm dying. These guys can punch and punch him there to hit him with the roger. Like there's, there's, there's just multiple ways of getting things. But I, he's probably settled upon the best way, which is this one into there, into there, into there, because then, you know, that way you you're getting to hit with the roger like decently. You know, you're using the juggernaut for the rogers. You're using the juggernaut for the blitz. The rogue blitz is pretty good, and uh, you're putting him out here. There's no guard to deal with. Um, he hasn't got block, so you having wrestle isn't any better. Like if it's a block ball carrier, maybe you'd be trying to get him up here to hit him with a wrestle um, into the other wrestle and stuff. But with him with him not having block at all, it's, it it probably is better to chain him down here, and then you know the snotlings filling here and here, and then. Bish bosh bash through is probably the way to do it. So yeah, that's probably that's probably uh, correct. Oh, he only needs one anyway, doesn't he? Hit him from the corner there. That was a bit. Oh no, he needed the two here. He needed the two here. So yeah, yeah. I knew he'd moved one already. It was the two in there. Yeah. And dodges out that snotling. 
Which is good, right? Because you want this goblin to be able to come back over anyway. Oh my god, kills Mr. Throw. <laughs> oh, terrible scatter for Moomin Slayer. But you can't really complain after casting a, a big one and killing a thrower. Goes for another scatter. Could go either way, this. Uh, it's not gone great. I didn't mind leaving it where it was. But I guess it could have. you could have had a great payoff right with a few players left to react. Now Davo's going to punch things. Hope for the best. Two AV breaks. That is a bit of a problem with Underworld, isn't it? Is when when they take the hits, they tend to explode really quickly. He's gonna blitz the gobble. Then is he going to go for the 4 plus pickup? Oh, that's his troll, of course. I was thinking it was the Underworld troll. <laughs> oh, this position's much stronger than I thought. So again, we've got another, we've got another chain, right? Another chain. Dodge the Snotling into here. Blitz him, chain him out. Obviously, that's what he does. Injured? Oh my goodness. Well, the, the bad that part now is the not having wrestle and the defensive assist. So maybe the uphill wasn't so good there. Um, but I guess he punches him back onto the roger. Doesn't really want to get three these Snotlings 3 d by a block of characters. This is turn 7 now. So I don't know when... Um, Andy gave up on scoring but I imagine it was some point previous to this because I mean he's paying more attention to the game oh my god if he gets the pow here he'd actually break away oh wow that's got to be a mistake from Moomin Slayer hasn't it somehow like however he's positioned here like, maybe these three should have just screened to have been allowed a, an exit route is uh, more than Andy could have ever dreamed. I was, you know, being turn seven, I was like, well, uh, you know, surely he gave up scoring at some point because. But no, he's just he, he can just dodge and double GFI and he's away. Wow. There's a wrestler here, though, isn't there? And I guess was he? No, he's just punching. So the wrestler, one two. Three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. Not terrible odds. Does he re-roll? He does. Fails. Only one re-roll for the one turn. Yeah, exactly. For like that's this is the thing about dwarves, isn't it? You know, everyone hates dwarves because you um. Because you you know not only do you probably not win you probably don't get any SPP at all. Nice remembers to do the vomit, um, you know undoubtedly plus EV. The only times that you wouldn't vomit there is you know if if losing your troll is absolutely disastrous, like even though it can't cause a turnover, it's not always positive, is it? You can cast your own troll with a uh, with a vomit, so you shouldn't always do it. So there you go, somewhere, somehow, from being completely under the cosh. <laughs> um, maybe it was the extra scatter, maybe it was uh, not not screening hard enough, but whatever it was, Dave all gets the breakaway and gets the touchdown in. Only 11 players for Moomin Slayer, uh, but only 8 for Dave o, so can't really set up anything here. Will we see? An Elliot quality one turn, or will we see a uh, not Elliot quality one turn? Well, he's certainly set up like this for this one. What's interesting about this is it gets it. The rogue is good for the you know the juggernaut and stuff, and for always activating. 
if there's somebody next to him, which there isn't right now. Um, but the problem is, like, sometimes you don't w even want the frenzy, right? Sometimes you just want to make the first blitz to there, and then he goes there, and then, like, use different ones and stuff. So, like, you're not necessarily... You're not necessarily wanting to use him. You could also, like, kind of try and greedily use him, right? You could have had, like, say, the... Uh, the the gutter runner here, and he could start with like a rat or a block. But obviously, we're you know I'm not saying this is a good idea because he's got he's got uh, wild animals and uh, not wild animals loner. But like you know, depending on what he had, like you could maybe try and block with a roger to to get extra things and stuff. Um, put, put the gutter there, whatever. Anyway, whatever. So there's those kind of things, but it's not actually not that good to just blitz with a roger because you know getting the second push is not always getting you a second push, and. This isn't getting them the second push, is it? Oh, it's, it's just not getting him the second push, and now he's got a snotling here. I guess he can punch, can punch with him. But like the second push didn't get him the push, so it actually wasn't really better, was it? You can't get this push, so like this wrestle guy should have been here, right? So that you could push this guy um, and stuff. Or you could have powered into him. There's, there's, there's lots of things that could have been done differently. But the, se the second push is not so good. Oh, fails the catch. Catch was in two tackles on this. So probably probably should have made not the catch not in two tackle zones, right? Which to be fair, okay, so what what's the best play? What's the best play? I don't know. I, I'll be honest, I don't particularly care. But maybe it was like getting in all snotlings here. It's hard to say, isn't it? It's only eleven play only eleven players. It's really hard to like crack the one turn, honestly. Maybe it was better to blitz the uh troll, seeing as you've got a roger. Um Maybe it was better to like dodge two snotlings here and then blitz him all the way through up to there or something and then out there, out, up, up to here. Like the the thing about this setup is surely you've got to be able to push him to there, right? Like if you can get him to there, it's amazing. So So yeah, so if he had had the wrestler, this just just this wrestler, these two being swapped then the gutter sidesteps to there, doesn't he? And then that last punch puts him to there. So that would have definitely been better. Like 100% that wrestler needed to be on the line. And that's something that you would get with, with more experience than 14 games. Right? Elliot would have probably put his wrestler there. And then he could have sidestepped to here. And he would have made that 2D. Powered him there. And then he's not in any tackle zones at all for the catch. And then he catches it. And he scores. And it's GG. So... One, two, three. You could only one D, right? With all that. There we go. Uh, could have got that one turn with a, with a better wrestle placement. But yeah, Devo's going to struggle, right? He's down two guard, two guard biggins. And down the block biggin from heat. While a snotling only is out from heat. So yeah, heat very favourable to Underworld. Vicious ref. I mean, there's no real reason to score early here, is there? Because 
Wow, unless you just want to score at any cost and then... I don't know, I feel like you should try and stall this out as the underworld. And then, uh, it looks like he's scoring quickly. Stall it out and then win in overtime. But then I guess if you think you're on a clock, maybe scoring okay. I mean, I'm, I've struggled on offense with underworld, to be fair. I mean, I've mostly just been trying to attack, or I've had a few games recently. But this does not look like a Dakar at all, does it? This is like uh, a pass next turn into a gutter score. <laughs> I did, yes, Fluffy Brito, oh, yeah. Yeah, fair enough, Moomin Slayer, fair enough. Again, like, I don't know which is better or anything, right? I don't... Like, obviously, there is a... There is a better and a worse. But I think if anybody professes to know which is better or worse, they're probably full of shit. <laughs> the, the, the bad thing about this is the... Uh, I, I, well, I would say that this is, like... Mm, this is a bit dodgy because if if you wrestle right, you completely block your path. So, but then, if the tackler hits, then the both down would have been better, right? Like he's got two assists, and then if you'd cancel the troll and then punch him, then if it's a both down, it's still okay. And if you power him, you power him to there, and you go diagonally through. So it had to be better blocking with a tackler, right? Just just cancel the uh, cancel the troll, and then you just block instead of blitzing, and that that's just better because the both down he's down and you can still score, whereas this both down is shit. <laughs> oh yeah, it does mean you could jump. Yeah, 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 and it's just a two plus, isn't it? Yeah, no tackle zones. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's only a two plus. Oh my god, yeah, I thought it blocked your path. Stupid Jim. Clever Moomin Slayer. Yeah, it's only a 2+, plus and it would have been funny. Yeah, no, fair enough. I mean, the, ta the, 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 the block tackle hitting was strictly better, but <laughs> it's not terrible like I thought it was terrible. It was just a 2+, plus, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nope, good shout. Also, like, the, the players out were good, weren't they? Like, a block biggin versus a snotling. So... Interest, interesting call on the on the thing. And again, it's hard to say if it's right or wrong. But now it's two clan rats out, which is a lot worse than a snotling. But then it's a, and a skillless biggin and a guard blitzer. So you know he hasn't got many players left. Has he? Three, four, five, six, seven players for Davo versus a full eleven still. So I guess more players out is good for the underworld, regardless of quality. Yeah. So actually, so yeah, maybe, maybe keeping the block bigger out was um, was not a consideration. It was just let's hope for two or three to be out because you basically can't lose unless it's the gutter runner. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well. <laughs> now we uh. Now we're in a bit of a pickle, as Andy. A bit of a pickle. Oh God! <laughs> I mean, what do you even do? Here? You can't even pass it with this guy, can you? I mean, so as Devo, what you have to do here is is <laughs> is. What do you have to do? Score at any point and go to overtime? Like he's got so few players left. You can pick it up, you can get like, what, two players back? If that. So maybe you just go for like a long bomb. 
six plus pass to one of these two and fuck off. <laughs> Maybe I should try and not swear. We know that not swearing is for the official cast. I could try and not swear. I swear less. Like I haven't tried to swear less. Okay, so he frees up one guy. And he frenzy traps himself, which again, not like it's not a mark against Andy, is it? Because, you know, how do you not when you've got no players? So safety first here from Moomin Slayer. Just, you know, obviously you'd rather have the gutter for uh, recovery, but just get him down there and then get the wrestle hit. Tagging everybody relentlessly with snotlings here is an option, but the problem is it, it's a, it's inevitably going to lead to their deaths, isn't it? But your other option is just letting him get men back, which it also isn't great. Interesting, puts him in there rather than against the sideline, but gets the AV break to make it a moot point. Goes for this dodge, puts in the re roll. And that's looking very strong. For moments there. Flip me. Honestly, maybe an extra GFI here was alright, so that you you know that this guy was unfreeable by the air frenzy. Another GFI dodge. Because he has freed him. And I guess he was going to double GFI to assist. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. And then he was going to blitz with a lineman. I would imagine. on 10, orcs on 8, 7, 7. <laughs> oh yeah, but he's down, so they've more like got 6. <laughs> At least they're moving 5. I wonder if he was better blitzing the snotling on three and then maybe getting the blitzer down a bit. Oh, it was to get this guy there, okay. Cheeky frenzy. So now I can go up there. A super big fan of this. I think just caging up here was all right. Get a bit away from Renzo in case things go wrong. I'd like to have seen a, a kind of a cage around here. Right, this is fine, isn't it? Problem is, you are gonna have to like break through at some point. Turn 13, so I think moving up here was better. I don't know exactly how it would have happened. Oh, wait, it's Andy's end zone. Of course. <laughs> this is what you get the best possible commentary from. You know, brilliant. The, look, this one square. This what? This one square. It's the last square. Is always the hardest. Anyone who's made a GFI in the end zone knows how ridiculously difficult this is. 
Um, okay, I still maintain that caging up there was pretty decent anyway, actually. But just not as far forward. I think a, a stronger cage around here would have been better then. Because you don't need to get forward on turn 13. <laughs> so, like, maybe he's here just to, just to pull in some of, the, like, the snotlings to help. The problem is they're not full tackle zones, are they? But I'd still want them helping. I still think they'd help more than the not, because then they're a buffer to retreat into, aren't they? So, like, you know, you have the, like, buffer here. If you've got a, like, buffer here, then you can make a buffer here, and then a buffer here, and then score, whereas now it, it, you're constricted down to here, and then here already. But, yeah, that was fucking terrible, wasn't it? <laughs> I think Dave Orr should score here. <laughs> yeah, very good. He could, yeah, he could, he could try and force the score. Like I don't know what he's trying to do. Right, this is the problem. Try and get a two turn out of it. The blitz just made me backwards from the fucking first turn. Yeah, it's one nil. So it just goes in. Is that the best play? Probably right. You don't have to dodge with him. Dodging with these twos could be a disaster. And like running back just to run back in the next turn seems really fucking stupid. So yeah, no, I like just scoring. Now that I know which end zone it is. <laughs> That was all so much worse for Devo than I thought for so much. Like, I knew at first it was Devo's reception, and then I just got turned around as it, as it went on. Another blitz! <laughs> well, well rolled, Moving Slayer. <laughs> Two, including the troll and the blitzer. Um, oh, the gutter is out. Jesus. Yeah, weathering kickoff events. Jesus. <laughs> is that wildly inaccurate? I've seen about three passes in this tournament. Two of them have gone wildly inaccurate. Yeah, that was, uh, I'm not sure <laughs> there's much that anybody could have done in that game, was there, really? Uh, as far as Andy's concerned, you know, got 1-0 up on his drive, and then, you know, could have won, could have been one turned against easily. Um, went for the quick score, which, pretty hard to defend against, right? And then, uh, and then that blitz was just... Impossible really to defend against with so few players. But maybe we should have done the six plus pass. Like honestly, you know, like it's funny, isn't it? That was my first instinct. As terrible as a six plus pass is, is because from that point it just looks inevitable that you're going to lose. Like fully inevitable. Like you know, less than 30% chance of winning from there. So if you've got less than 30% chance of winning from there, then you should you should long bomb, shouldn't you? Like, that's just maths. 100% maths. Is if you think you're like 10% to win that game, and Andy probably thought he was less than 10% at that point, then uh, long bombing from one blitzer to another one is, is going to be your, la your best chance, isn't it? Even though you're still probably going to lose, I still think it was... Because that would have just made it... Well, that would have put him 2-1 ahead, wouldn't it? So he, he's, then he goes to overtime and maybe the weather changes, maybe kills some snotlings or whatever. So I think, that, I think that that pass gave him the best chance that turn, but still, I mean, the dice were insane, weren't they? Absolutely insane. So there you go, Andy Devo goes out in the loser's bracket round two. Moomin Slayer progresses, so congratulations, Moomin Slayer, for getting into the money. And... Uh, Thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.